Good day, mate. Good day, mate. We are down under. We're at Morgan's house in Brisbane, Australia. Woo! Everyone cheer. Just a couple claps for Australia. I love Australia. I spent Christmas down here. Morgan is my girlfriend. I don't know if I've actually introduced you on my channel, though. How disgusting. Oh, crikey, mate. Yeah. That's what I've been saying. My, my Australian accent's not the best, but I, I try. It's not for lack of trying. That's one of the best things about having an Australian girlfriend is I just get to mimic her accent all the time. But on my uh, on my Instagram, I put up, uh, hey, ask us some questions. I've been in Australia now for about a week. We did Christmas here together, and uh, you guys have sent me over your questions. So we're just going to read some of these off. Some of these, there's quite a bit about both of us. So I figured it's good to have you on here as well. Am I going to be inputting into the questions or are you going to answer? Yeah, no, I'll ask question? you. I'll ask you. Ask this, me some directly? Yeah. Okay. This is the first question. Place you first kissed. Go. Three, two, one. Vegas. Vegas. Oh, we we're doing it together. Yeah. Three, two, one. Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> good oh, one. we answered at the same time. <laughs> in Las Vegas, Nevada. What stays, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What happens in Vegas winds up on YouTube. Just remember that, guys. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. Vegas. It was a nice kiss. Hmm. Should we kiss right now? Psych, YouTube. Babe, you didn't even go in for it. I had I had to say psych because you didn't meet me halfway. <laughs> would you I, Yeah, would I would you have given you a kiss. Give me a kiss then. No. Come on. No, you're just gonna. No. You're gonna, Give no, me a kiss. You're gonna shut me down again, mate. That was a peck. That was a peck. What places in Australia have you visited? Let's see if you can tell me. Where um, you visited. Yeah, where I visited. Darwin. Darwin, yes. Brisbane. Brisbane, Gold yes. Gold Coast. Yes. Sunshine Coast, Noosa. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sydney. Yes. Central Coast. Yes. Byron. Yes. Adelaide. Yes. Melbourne. Yes. You're just leaving out one. Just one. That's pretty, that's really good actually. Really good. Just one. Yeah. Port Lincoln. Far out. No, that is Adelaide. It's no. close. It's four no. hours. Sweetheart, we had to fly. Yeah, okay. Well. That's like saying you, Byron why did you and say Noosa. it? I could have gotten that. I'm sorry. She would have gotten it. But honestly, you got like 9 out of 10. So that's really, really good. So I listen. I've been all over Australia. And I think my favorite city is... What's my favorite city? Out of them all. Out of them all. Melbourne. Melbourne. If I was going to live in one city, it would be Melbourne. Just because I feel like it's, it's got a lot of culture. I like Sydney because they got beaches. So if you guys are ever planning a trip, my parents are actually coming over here. Tomorrow. I talked to them into it. Yeah, they'll be <laughs> landing in Sydney tomorrow. So we're actually going to be flying down tomorrow morning before they get there. But if you're ever coming to Australia, I definitely feel like if you're here for any considerable amount of time, you definitely need to check out Melbourne, Sydney, and then the areas here around Brisbane, which is like... Gold Coast. And like Great Barrier Coast, Reef area. Which is something I haven't done actually. Yeah, we need to go up there. To Cairns. Shout out to Cass and Jake. Yeah. <laughs> what? Good work. <laughs> it was perfect. Oh, and they're her friends in Cairns. I haven't met them, but. Um, shout out to Lulu. Because <laughs> you're such an adorable dog. This is Morgan's dog, who absolutely loves me now. It's the first time I met her. She's a little lab mix. Thank you. So yeah, I definitely feel like uh, Great Barrier Reef is is the one place. Great Barrier Reef, Reef and Perth would be yeah. the two places that That's are still on my on my bucket list that I really haven't seen yet. Let's ask about TikTok real fast. This person said, "How many likes on TikTok?" I feel like TikTok's a big deal. You don't now. even have it, do you? I do have it. I I, I don't know if I've Did ever posted. Did your nieces make you get it? Yeah, I think they helped me out. My niece, <laughs> shout out to my niece Carter for helping me get TikTok. But you have a TikTok. Yeah. I don't know. Are you guys on? I, I want to know in the comments below. Are you guys on TikTok? I just feel like it's a place I've just seen like little girls doing dance videos. But whoa, that's just because your nieces have done that. Yeah. It is so funny. Is it? That honestly, TikToks are hilarious. Are they? You get on there, you watch one video, and you're in like 20 videos deep, and you're just like, what am I doing? I'm just really? wasting an hour. Yeah. Okay. Um, We're gonna see how well you know me. What's my middle name? Brian. Um, where was I born? Idaho. Boise, or, Idaho. No, not Boise. Uh, the bucket list family was just there. Sun. Valley. Sun Valley. I, was born I didn't know Sun. you were born in Sun Valley. Well, I was born in Haley, which is like eight miles away. But is that where you lived at that time? I did, yeah. Oh, okay. um, how many countries have I visited? Oh my goodness, all of them? No, 24. <laughs> how was I going to know that? Know. 
Um, oh, I have a question for you. Okay. When is my next Gymshark Steve Cook collaboration coming out? Are you even allowed to say this? I'm saying it. I don't know. If Gymshark gets mad at me for this, guys, I'm taking one for the team, okay? Next Gymshark collaboration coming out. March. March. Where at? 2020 in London. That part I don't know if I can announce, but yes, it's looking like it will be in London, so if I have to take down this video, You're welcome. just pretend that you guys didn't hear it. Why are Australian women the goat? Why are Australian Why are Australian women the goat? I don't feel like all Australian women are the goat. I feel like this one's the goat. Aww. That was so that's the nicest sad. thing you've ever said to me. I think in general, what makes Australian women very attractive. Very goaty. Very goaty. <laughs> <laughs> that's not goat, it's a cow. No. How do you say goat? Uh. Oh, that's true. I think because Australian women, A, they're very active. They're not super girly girly, like they like to get out and camp. Morgan doesn't think I could hang with her camping. She went to this place called Uluru. Uluru. We camped in swag. Which is where uh, like camper. the the rock, Air's Rock is at. She didn't shower for three days. And she's like, You couldn't have even done that, Steve. And I was like, I sometimes don't shower for three days just to see what it's like. And that is such a low <laughs> crap. How was Uluru? Is that one place that I still need to go in Australia? hundred percent. It's right in the middle, guys. It's right a in must the do. It's a it's a bucket list item. Okay. Do you have any questions you want me to answer about you? Um, your middle name is Rose. Your birthday is December to? 16th. You're a Sagittarius. You've traveled to Bali, New Zealand. Are you counting when you were really little too? Oh, you can't count that. Yes, I can. It's still in my lifetime. England, America, Mexico. Yeah. You have never been to Thailand. I'm saying six. You've been to six countries. I've been to Japan. Japan well. was the other one. It was the sixth one. I just said five, I named five, and then okay. I was like, I'm sure she's been to one yeah. other place, so. Six? Yeah. All right. I think. You don't know? People in our last video on your channel said, I didn't show you enough affection, enough affection during the video. So just periodically, I'm gonna be reaching out and touching Morgan's leg. <laughs> they said that I gave you more affection I than know, you gave baby. me. Which is, I know, baby. Which is, you know what? So wrong in real life because it, I give a lot of affection. So obsessive. Um, okay, this is a good question. What did Santa get you? This is a great question because actually we just went to the mall and took back what and Santa swapped gave me. like all of his <laughs> presents. Uh, Santa gave you a pair of Ray Ban sunglasses, which I then took back. I'm like, I don't need sunglasses. I have movement, so you guys can definitely click the link below in this video. Movement sunglasses, movement watches. We're both with movement. Yeah. So you guys can check those out. I feel like movement sunglasses are great because they're not overly expensive. And the and women's jewelry them, is top notch. Yeah. And I really like their like layered necklaces. They're so cute. They're what? They're layered necklaces. The necklaces? Yeah. They're not necklaces? Necklaces. How did you just say necklaces. that? Necklaces. Guys, we do this once a day where she says a word. I'm like, what? <laughs> say aluminum. Necklaces. Aluminum. Aluminium. Necklace? Necklace. So good, <laughs> so good. Uh, and so yeah, I, I took back the sunglasses because I have a, shorts. A, shorts, I told her the wrong pair. Um, I got a pair of boat shoes that are really cool instead. And she bought me what I really wanted. This is what happens when you reach your mid thirties. I wanted a high thread count sheet. So Morgan got me. <laughs> 1,000 thread count. 1,000. I don't even know what it's going to feel like. I'm going to be lying on that bed just rolling naked, just feeling what 1,000 thread... I'm pretty sure hotels, like nice hotels have 1,000 thread count. Yeah. Um, so she got me those and those weren't... And then also for my birthday, I went skydiving, which will be on my next vlog next week. All of my Australian adventures. Skydiving was a trip, but I don't want to spoil too much. So, And what did you get? What was your big gift? I got a ring. A ring? Oh my gosh. Ta-da. We are not engaged. That would be on the other <laughs> that'd be on the other finger. So It's uh, from Logan Hollowell. It's the most beautiful little ring. So Logan Hollowell, if you don't know I said that, little ring, but it's actually a massive ring. Yeah, it's a pearl. It's pearl with like like Do I need to get you a pearl? Melted I can't even gold. Say it. I can't even what? Say it. Nothing. A pearl. Necklace. But it's Necklace. someone's gonna make a int like a really gross joke about it. <laughs> Um, but anyhow, yeah, Logan Hollowell, yep. show up, babe. You guys better believe our thumbnail on this video will be 
Morgan holding out How her ring. How cute is that? I feel like it's Yeah, so See? guys, don't so hate pretty. me for putting on this video, uh, her holding out this ring, acting like we're engaged. When are you planning on moving to Australia? That's a great question. When are you planning to move to Australia? When I'm 55. Whoa, no. It's only 20 years, babe. Haha. <laughs> All right, more like 45. 45. 10. Well, it's 10 years. That is. We're, we're just gonna play it by ear. I want to retire in Australia. I think it'd be great to raise kids in Australia. I think it's a great place. What, you're gonna be 55 with, with kids? the exception of the snakes, spiders, crocodiles, sharks, jellyfish, blue ring octopus, and big red kangaroos. They could all kill you. That's true. That's why you can't be bougie in Australia. Australia. Oh, I guess she called me bougie the other day. And I'm like, I'm not bougie. I'm not. Are you bougie? No. Are you bogan? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but not bogan. Bogan, if you guys don't know, bogan is like what a redneck, the redneck <laughs> equivalent of an Australian is. Um, so, mm. like they're the ones that live out in the bush, out in the outback. Why did I sound <laughs> English? Uh, um, the outback. <laughs> I don't That's not a knife. Um, favorite crocodile, the D quote. All right, let's get to more of these questions. Yeah, so, answer. Oh yeah, let's you got this. Answer. You got this. Yes. And then and I got, a Joe Malone candle. Yes. Um, which smells amazing. But it's safe to say. And then I got some some things for the flight that like what do they do to your muscles? Oh yeah, yeah. Stimulate muscles. Yep. It's called and Red Dot. We'll also put that in the in the in the description. Yeah. So that when we're flying. And then what did you get for your birthday? I got the prettiest Mitch Go. I think it's I think how you say it is Go Bell. Gobel? Gobel print. It's like this big piece of artwork. Piece of art, yeah. It is incredible. I've wanted it for so it long. It's a 24 by 36. It's a good size, but it's stunning. Crazy that she kind of she kind of mentioned she liked this artist and then I cried when I opened she it. She did cry. And then it was your background. This I didn't know that this one I, I was shopping on the site for a print. This, this one I was like, this one. one looks like Morgan. Yeah. And it was my screensaver for literally like two years. It's so wild. Yeah. So wild. Until I got a boyfriend. <laughs> I know. I'm her screensaver with you. But, oh, yeah. One day it's going to be Lou, Hobbs, me and you. Yeah. And Tanya, too. Tanya, you can be the screen. <laughs> what did I do? She's going to be in our family portrait. You're going to be in the family portrait. <laughs> I'll be up behind the tree. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, Lou. Um, but going back to yeah, moving, speed moving, moving to Australia. Uh, Morgan's gonna try to come live in the U.S. Maybe. Yes. We'll see. We'll see if she wants to, because she's pretty tied to Australia. How can we watch The Biggest Loser in Australia? That's a good question. Yeah, Unless, I need to know that. Well, it's on. It's on USA, and it'll be out January 28th. So you guys should somehow find that out. I've done the filming. It was a lot of work. It was one of those things that during it I was exhausted and just frustrated because I wasn't keeping up with my YouTube, but what made it all worth it is is seeing the transformations at the end. So you guys have to, you know, tune in to check those out. Honestly, be real. Who is hotter? Morgan's hotter. How can you say that? Babe, you're so much. That's just silly. You get hit on all the time, even when I'm standing right next to him. <laughs> Shout out to the girl at Byron Bay Pub. <laughs> <laughs> And this is why I just <laughs> love Morgan, because she's so inappropriate. This girl was literally hitting on Steve, and she goes, Oh, I know you. You're friends with my friend. And I said, Mm-hmm. Babe, you better hope she doesn't watch this. I didn't feel like you were hitting on me, girl, that was at the pub, but... Um, and I As was... if. <laughs> she literally said, as Steve turned around, He's the hottest damn thing As I, I turned around, I didn't see that happen. Didn't... Next place you decide to travel, you have to stay forever. Which would it be and why? You have to stay forever. Hawaii. Oh, well, yeah. Hawaii, yeah, because yeah. it's halfway between Australia. And we both have to Lou, travel Lou, you just uh, want some attention right now. You could come to Hawaii too. There's no snakes there. Don't worry, girl. There's no snakes there. <laughs> oh, you just love me. You just love me. She does love me. She does love me. Can you describe your relationship? This is a great question. Can you describe our relationship? How would you describe our relationship in three words? I was going to say our big joke, but that sounds really bad. <laughs> that sounds really bad. Three words to describe our relationship. Go. Fun. That includes funny, because we're both very funny. And humble. We're both very funny, she said. We are very funny. <laughs> we are very funny. 
<laughs> we think, here's the thing. We, we think, think we're funny. We think the other person's funny. Eh? Like she laughs at my stupid jokes and I'm constantly dad laughing. Jokes. Dad jokes. I got dad jokes for days. And I'm constantly laughing at Morgan's ridiculousness. Literally, Thank this girl more. is so crazy. Um, <laughs> In like good crazy, not like psycho crazy. <laughs> About time for another leg touch. <laughs> <laughs> See? She laughed at my jokes. <laughs> uh, I would definitely say it's very physical. Yeah. Meaning like... We my do... love language is touch. Yeah, and I think mine is as well. So she's constantly all over me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then I would say also like we do handstand stuff together. Well, I try to do some acro stuff together. You you good. I mean, we're just it's very like we go to the gym, we don't work out always together. I think that's one of the things that we don't do. Every now and then we will, but um when I want to die, I'll do a session with him. We should probably do that. If you guys want to see a session of us, there is actually a session that we did together before we were actually like officially dating. Officially um, dating. This before we were even Oh yeah, that was your first trip. Yeah. Sorry. First trip before we before we kissed, before we did anything, so. Having kids anytime soon. We have two kids. She has <laughs> Lulu, and I have Hobbs. Right now, that is, that is the only kids. But I want kids probably by the time I am 38. So are you ready to have kids in the next three years? It was at this moment that he knew. Maybe. You guys are, you guys are finding out things for 36. the first time like me. No, that's, that's 38. Oh. Three, three years. Oh, right? yeah, okay. Three years. How old are they? 21. 26. Oh, yeah. 29, right? 20, 29. <laughs> 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 uh, that's cute. Favorite personality trait about the about each other. So wait, what did we say? The top, I, I said... I want to have all my kids by 30. I said physical. Sorry, this is going back. We're all over the place in this Q&A, but this is kind of our relationship. <laughs> Fun, physical makes it sound like you yeah, no. have sex all, all the, the time. time. <laughs> um, see, I'm a big goofball. Underneath fun, I would, I would say goofy. And then the last one I would say fun, physical, and the third F, food. Food. <laughs> food. What do you mean? I that that I, does not describe our relationship. We love eating of together. Of course we do. Everyone does. Okay. Uh, we're humans. Travel, Sagittarius. That's a, that's another thing. That's a, we're both yeah, that's the true. typical. Like, I'm not a big star sign person, but we are so similar in so many ways because I think we are. We both love traveling. Um, just a lot. I feel like we are very similar. Yeah, I feel like we're crazy we're, similar. What yeah. am I thinking right now? Sometimes we finish each other's <laughs> sentences. <laughs> yeah. We're disgusting. Okay, so on the flip side of that, what is each other's pet peeves? Of you? Yeah, what would you say my number one pet peeve of yours is? Like, like if my you... My eating. What about you? I already know eating? that. What about... I store food in my cheeks, like a chipmunk. Morgan, she goes full bro mode. We'll be out eating, and she's like, little, little patch of food in your cheek, but she's just, it's just who she is. I think it's an Australian thing. Again, what makes Australian women the goat is they can hang with the boys. Bruh. She can out drink probably a lot of my friends. Not that I've actually I can probably out drink you. I can definitely out drink She's you. She's competitive to a fault. <laughs> but yeah. I know what mine is for what? you. You can guess it. Oh, I second guess her on everything. And That's I, one of the two. I had another one. Oh, shit. <laughs> but you do. You the second gloves are coming guess off. me. That is I the do. worst I second one. Guess, I second guess you all the time. Uh, and I'm always right. 99% of the time I'm right. What is that sour face mm -hmm. for? 90. You're absolutely right. I love you. She's right. What's I, the other thing? Seatbelt. You never put your seatbelt <laughs> on. I don't. It's bad. <laughs> if you guys are watching this right now, please wear your seatbelt. Buckle up. Not only is it the law, it's going to save your life. I am bad at it. Be better than me. Wear your seatbelt. Mm -hmm. It's actually one of my New Year's resolutions is to wear my seatbelt. If I had three year, New Year's resolutions, it would be to... Wear my seatbelt, mm -hmm. stretch mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. stretch every day, mm -hmm. and the last one would be, and then to do more YouTube videos. That's yours. 
I want to find a way to be consistent in my training when I'm traveling. Ooh, that's a great one, actually. That's one of the hardest things, I think. It's, it's about so damn hard. both of what we do. It's so much easier just to put it off and put it off. Traveling when you're training, I think, do it first in your day. Yeah. Even if it's just 20, 30 minutes, get into the gym and just do something. And then the other thing I would say, if you want to, I would say do a class. And I know that sounds weird because I don't do that a whole lot. But a lot of times having to think of a workout in a gym that you don't, like trying to put together in a, know, yeah. Yeah, in a gym that you don't know, it's a lot easier sometimes just to find somebody in that city, a training partner or a class and just go full in on that. So Yeah. And Anything then another else? one, maybe eat a little better. That's pretty This pretty girl normal, can eat whatever she wants. And I just eat a lot. It just goes straight foods. to her bum. What is my all-time favorite food? If I had to eat, like if I, if we are going out right now for a last meal, the, we're going to outer space and we're gonna eat our, you know, we're gonna eat garbage food for the next year. What am I eating tonight? I have Speaking. no idea. Oi. Can you give me a hint? You eat so many types I'm of food. I'm going, I'm gonna say this and you're gonna be like, I knew no, that. Lots of cheese. Pizza. I definitely should have known that straight up. I'm sorry, but that is garbage food. I pizza know, is garbage food. So if, if you're gonna eat garbage food for the rest of your life, you could no, eat no. pizza. No, no, I, didn't, I didn't mean like, the, no, this is the last meal, not an everyday. Oh, like a last meal is in like before you. Before we go to space, I said. We went to oh. space. I didn't want to say. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to say before like we're dying. So I said, we're going to space and we have to eat like space meals. Okay. Really pizza. weird. I said pizza. Yours well, would be sushi. Yeah, we already. Sushi, so you that word. sushi. What do you love doing in your free time away from fitness and work? Literally just anything outdoors. I love outdoorsy things. Taking Lulu for a walk? Yeah. Like when we're surfing. at yours, go, yeah, going on the boat, going wake surfing. Yeah. I like surfing, but I don't surf enough. Morgan's a good sleeper. Um, I think she likes sleeping. What do you do in your free time? <laughs> sleeping and eating. <laughs> You make me sound like I'm just this. No, you're good. I wish I could sleep that well. No, I'm it's good like, at sleeping as in like, I will be out in like two minutes and I'll sleep through the whole night and never wake up and just I always wake, wake up, up before when I wake up. For me, what do I love doing? So I think it's one of those questions when, you, when you're away from fitness and work, we've been talking about this because I think we have both, we both have a similar outlook on social media. Social media is one of these things that we have, we get to do what we're doing right now, like traveling, coming to Australia. I can do that because of what I do with social media. But there's times where you feel like it, it does run your life. Like you're always thinking about what am I posting on Instagram or I need to put up a YouTube video. And, and you the feel content bad when you yeah. lack, when you lack putting content out there for other people like for your socials. Right. So sometimes the content sometimes I feel like is forced. Like I need to get something up today. I'm gonna post this old photo or whatever. And I think that's one of the things I was looking so, yeah. at my friend's page who isn't an influencer. And his content, while it was a it's lot less, fun. yeah, it was just truly like you, you felt passionate. Like you, you could tell he was passionate about what he was posting. And I think that's one of the coolest things about this, about you know, not having social media as your job. You only post the things you really want to post. So, oh, I like Netflix. I like going to the movies, hanging out with family. I like movies and popcorn. Hanging out with family, playing games, doing things outdoors. I agree with that. Okay, last, last question. I know I've been saying that a couple, couple times here. This is a good one. Do Australians genuinely seem happier than Americans? What do you attribute this tri to? Um, I'm gonna say yes to that. Yeah, me too, I agree. And the reason I say yes I'm to that- I'm only basing that off what I've seen when I've been to America. And where have you been in America? Let's quickly go over that. LA. Yep. New York, Dallas, Utah, Lake Powell. Hmm. Happiest place on earth. Utah. So <laughs> out of those yeah. places, where would you say the people Vegas. are happiest? Yeah, you've been to Vegas too. Where are the people the happiest? Where you are. Utah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's interesting because I feel like what makes Utah happier is, is the lifestyle. Is the lifestyle, but it's also what makes Australia, in my mind, happier. Yeah. And what I mean by that, there's a quality of life. Um, I think sometimes living in LA, New York, um, I think that it's so just that grind. Hustle, yeah, hustle. grind, hustle, traffic. Things are more expensive, so you have to work more. You have, you're sitting in traffic more. And I think that's kind of America in general is this go, go, go. You know, we gotta get ahead, we gotta get ahead, we gotta get ahead. Whereas Australia, there's 25 million people, a little less than 25 million people in a country that's almost the size of the US. Most of the people live close to the ocean. Most people I think are a little bit more active than, than the average American. And I think there's a lot more of a point to enjoy life. You know, the families, it seems like 
you know, you go to the beach here, there's a lot of families spending time together. That's the same with Utah as well. But some of these bigger cities, you can't have, you know, you're not going to have more than one or maybe two kids in a, in a big city. It just doesn't make sense. So I feel like that's the, the, you know, the part of America that I think most people see on TV, you know, or when they visit from other countries are these bigger cities. And I just don't think that there's a great quality of life there. I think Australia kind of embodies that. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of a little bubble here in Australia as well. Like, you know, people all kind of look the same and they all kind of, but like, you know, the food's better. Um, I think that there's a general sense of we look out for one of it, one another. It's not a There's a lot of banter too. Yeah. There, people there, don't there, things, like there, people don't take things seriously. Yeah. It's just, I, I would say political correctness isn't as crazy as it here is it is in America. But listen, in America, we're a melting pot. Um, you know, we all don't look the same. And you have to kind of... You've got other things that impact Yeah, you have to watch what you, yeah. what you say to not offend somebody. Yeah. And I think that that's part of just what, you know, having 340 or 350 million people in a country gets you or brings you along with the good things. But I do feel like there's like, I feel like half of America right now, like Democrats, Republicans, liberal, conservative, I feel like there's a much more, it's more poignant, is that a word? It's much more in your face, um, like, you know, what you believe and what you think. In Australia, everyone's just like, oh, we're all Australians. We all want to have a good life and drink, you know, have a drink on the weekend, go camping, swim in the ocean. And I feel like it's just a little bit more like that. That's literally it, yeah. Amen. Yeah, amen. Even, can I get an amen? Even though, like, even the richest of Australians still live those lifestyles. Right. It's like people people realize that there's more to happiness than money. Yeah. Like there's like that's not what it's about. Yeah. So I do love that about Australia. The thing that I guess I struggle with Australia, I feel like we're tucked away right now in this part of the world, and even though it's great, it's kind of like you know the US or you know maybe even like London it feels like kind of the center of the universe so there's that kind of energy that comes from that but at the same time it's almost like that oh, feeling of when I was living in Utah or Idaho oh, I need to be in LA because that's where it's all happening and then you get there and you're like Fine, it's not really all yeah it's not really all it's cracked up to be I feel like that's kind of like Australia and the US so that's how you would feel in Australia that's not how Australia yeah because feel my family's not here yeah I think you know home is where your family's at always so, good Q and A. Anything else you want to add no. to my to my YouTube? Let's, do people. you have any juicier questions? Oh, you want to? Oh, you want to do one more? Yeah, Morgan we'll wants to do one more. I want to do some juicy. Morgan ones. wants to do one more. Okay, this is, it doesn't get any juicier than this. Well, okay. When's the wedding? You wanted a juicy question. Here's a juicy question. When you're 23 years old, that's pretty young. Yeah. When would be a good age for Morgan to get married? That, it gets, that's, that's juicy. I would want to be married before I have kids. I, I would hope so. I mean, that's, I feel like that's not really a big thing in Australia. Like no, it's not at all. A lot of people definitely have is in kids Utah. and don't marry at all. Yeah, it definitely is in Idaho and Utah, so. Um, <laughs> my buddy Sean Stafford asked, are you guys a couple? There's some weird sexual chemistry here. <laughs> the reason he says that is we were in Australia together like three years ago. And there was a brother and a sister from like Sweden or somewhere that were in line and he didn't, we didn't know they were brother and sister. And he's like, so how long have you guys been together? I'm like, oh, we're not, you know, we're, we're brother and sister. They said it in their broken English. And Sean was like, really? Because there is some sexual chemistry there. Or because you could cut the sexual tension with a knife. He said it because we'd been there forever. He was tired. We had been bantering him and I back and forth. And he just That's assumed so these people bad. would find it funny. But between the English barrier, you know, English wasn't their first language, they just looked at each other and were so appalled. So that's why I asked that. Sean, um, I hope you didn't get mad by telling that story. It's one of the reasons why I love you, man. We didn't answer at the wedding. I would yeah. be married yeah. by 26, 27. 26 or 27. Yeah. So you want three more years of going out, you know, seeing the world, maybe dancing up on a Spanish guy in Spain. <laughs> what are you, like, what are you talking no, about? I'm saying That's not what you do when you're in a in a relationship. Right, but I guess what I'm saying is you're not tied down. Yeah, yeah. I want my freedom yeah, for you, three more years. You want your freedom. <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> no. Aww. You just feel like 23 is a little young to get married. Yeah. Yeah, and it's definitely true. I feel like 23 is a little bit young. So It depends people... what we do in the next couple of years though. Okay. 
I, I feel like we're gonna probably travel. We're gonna be in some Gymshark stuff. Um, I'm gonna ask some. Oh. Ready? Ready. Do you know what one it's gonna be? Nope. Okay. Is Morgan the one? Oh my gosh, it's the same thing as marriage. Yeah, but I said I'm gonna get married. I didn't say I was gonna get married to you. I feel like for me, I've, you know, I've put ex-girlfriends on YouTube. I will say- On everything. Your whole life is plastered on that's social true. media. Because that is your life. It is my life. Yeah. Do I regret it? No, I don't think I would regret it because I think part of what I've done with YouTube and everything else is just be authentically me. And I feel mm. like if you're trying to hide things, it's always, people can kind of always tell. That being said, I do feel like Morgan and I have a lot more in common and a lot more going for us than those past relationships. Like I feel like, um, not to, you know, say any of those other relationships were bad and like, you know, you learn from every relationship, but I do feel like Morgan and I, I enjoy spending time just doing nothing with Morgan, like more than anyone. Is that a good answer? Yeah. Didn't really answer it though. What? It's a Babe, yes or no I'm, I'm a politician. I'm it's just, a yes or no question. It's it, black or white. It's not black and white. Do you feel like Babe. that's the case right now? What do you, do I feel like what's the case? Am I the one? Yes, you're the one right now. <laughs> Whoa! I just spat everywhere. Oh, you did. No, I would say right now. I would, Stephen Ryan. I would Cook, say, babe. I'm not forcing you to say yes. No. But I would just rather you say yes or no and just stick with it. Don't try and backhand it. Oh, this is a tough question. That yeah. was a backhand. But babe, wait, hold on. Let me. Let me. Yeah, it was. It was. Let me ask you this. If, right now. If, 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 you, if you know someone is the one, what are you waiting for to get married? Yeah. True. So I would say like. Okay, I, let's... I, I feel like I feel like it's going there. But we just, we, we've dated now for about six or seven months. So we're gonna give it, you know, people change a lot at 23. Maybe it, by 24 you want to be dancing for dollars and like, I'm just not about that life. Woo! <laughs> 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 this uh, Q&A just took a turn for the better. <laughs> Clearly. Q&A took a turn for the better. All right, well I'm glad you think I'm the one for now. <laughs> I really love that about you. <laughs> I love that for us. Me too. Let's be friends. Best friends. Yeah. Are you going to yell at me after this? No. <laughs> Lulu, no. tell your mom not to be mad. I'm not mad. Say, I, 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 I have never bought any other girlfriend a ring. Hmm? Thanks for watching. <laughs>